Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you another Flash Off Race replay. Uh, okay, so this is a ladder game between Flash's Zerg and the greatest Zerg of all time, who's also the greatest Zerg vs. Zerg player of all time, Jadon. So it's Flash vs. Jadon, but a Zerg versus Zerg. I mean... <laughs> this is kind of a crazy thing uh, to even have had happen. Um, we'll see how Flash ends up ends up playing it. We're on Fighting Spirit, an old map, but it's ZVZ. It doesn't matter so much. Uh, as far as the spawns go, the spawns are a little bit better for Jadong because it's Zerg vs. Zerg as the natural expansion is here, so Jadong can harass that more easily. Um... But yeah, yeah, there are situations in which uh, if Jadong expands, maybe Flash can hit the main base if there's the, the mutas for Jadong are down there, something like that. Not huge deals. Honestly, I don't know what Flash's Zerg vs. Zerg will really look like. He did in his random ASL run uh, have some Zerg vs. Zerg victories. Uh, you know, he was, he, one of them was completely strategic. Uh, you know, on, on Plasma, for people who remember that, like he knew something that only the top Zergs knew about that map in Zerg vs. Zerg and was able to utilize it to win. Here against Jadong on a very normal map, I find it hard to believe that Flash will be able to win. But that being said, uh, it looks like this is an overpool and uh, that is a hatchery first there from Jadong. So Jadong probably going to have like a slight edge as far as builds go. Okay, if this was a nine pool, then I would actually be like, hey, maybe Flash actually does pick this one up. Uh, but it's going to it, it's it's going to be a hard one, I think, because this is more of a defensive build from Flash, like overpool. Like you could you can get aggressive with it for sure, but the lings are not quite as quick, right? Uh you well, I don't know. Let's let's see. Maybe maybe he's able to do something with them still, but I think that Jadong is just gonna be able to hold his hatchery without too much problem now flash goes ahead expands himself it is a bit later than jadong's expansion jadong going to mine that gas now and flash oh he goes zergling speed okay so it looks like flash probably wants to get aggressive here like if you're gonna go zergling speed before your lair that kind of does point towards that aggressive tendency now unfortunately for him Jadong's second hatchery is going to be a little bit quicker. So even though he's up a couple drones, he can actually, he's going to have like more larva than Flash overall. So if Jadong does nothing but make Zerglings from here, he'll actually probably be in very, very good shape. Now the Zerglings coming across the map here. And it goes right up the ramp there. It is, it's going to be like six versus six, but I can't imagine Flash has as good zergling micro as jadong honestly that that would like i know flash is the greatest ever but that would be almost too much like i don't i don't believe that that could be the case brown zerglings here are flashes and you can see yeah jadong is boxing them in like so hard he's having a very hard time getting anything done with those zerglings right now jadong is gonna flank oh they just barely make it through so now flash has spent a lot of zerglings this is six zerglings this is three larva right with a pool first build. Well, it's an over pool first, but uh, so not not quite as crazy as nine pool. And he gets one drone. He gets one drone for the six link. So without a doubt, Jadong is well ahead here. He's up two drones still. Uh, his hatchery is quicker. He's got a lot of lings. His zergling speed is almost done. Now Flash is setting up defensively here. Uh, he does have a sunken colony already. His layer is done as is Jadong's. No one started the spire yet. Jadong going to go for a bit of a counterattack. Now, whether or not he breaks him is a good question, right? Like, there's a lot of micro that takes place with the Sunken. You want the Sunken to take damage because it's got two base armor, right? So you can see the Sunken taking quite a bit of damage and Flash is kind of stopping units from passing on this side. Of course, if the Sunken ends up dying, that takes away some of your uh, big defensive capabilities. Nice block there from Flash. Really good block. And Jadong only gets in with two Zerglings. So that was a good, good block. By the way, Jadong did kill one drone at the natural during all that. 
Uh, he dealt some damage to one in here, but doesn't look like he's going to end up getting that one. This one, Zergling, super badly hurt, so he's got to be careful with that. Now, back at home, Jadong, he is making more lings, as flashes make more lings as well. Spire is on the way. Spire is on the way, but the Spire is more quick here. Uh, he's quicker <laughs> from Jadong. So again, everything looks Jadong favored at the moment. Flash does, again, have that sunken colony, which is helpful uh, in its own way. So that's something at least. Uh, but yeah, it seems like the Spire finishing first for Jadong is probably going to be uh, the aspect of this game that is going to end up mattering a lot, right? Like if he gets his Mutalisks over there just in advance of Flash's Mutalisks hatching, that means you can get maybe a drone or two. Uh, you do have to be careful with that timing, though. And in fact, never mind. Jadong has actually pulled the trigger to make more Zerglings. So instead of going for Mutas there, he just doubled down on his Zergling production. A lot of mind games do exist. So uh, right now they are at very similar supplies. Jadong up by three supplies. So that actually comes out to six Zerglings more, which is pretty significant. They both have the speed upgrade. Is six Zerglings more enough here to make a big difference? Flash making three mutas, Jadong making two. Flash running back right now. He wants to get back to the sunken colony. Couple lings do run by this sunken colony. So that could be a little bit deadly as well because Flash has to defend up here and he has to defend his drones. Okay, he does defend his drones, kills those lings off. In comes Jadong's lings. Flash trying to back up. His muta's coming out to hit these lings as well. And it looks like Jadong will be repelled just barely so well one zergling with two health gets in you can turn with a drone and kill that this is not the biggest deal <laughs> okay so he kills that off flash has mutas jadong right now making mutas of his own again like i i feel like flash has played pretty darn well like you have to hand it to him he's putting out a high quality zerg versus zerg game right now but can his Mutalisk Micro look anything like Jadong's Mutalisk Micro? <laughs> that's, a, that's a big question, right? Like, that is a, a huge thing about Jadong is just how good his Mutas are. Now, that's six Mutas against five and a couple Scourge. A uh, seventh Muta plops out. I think Jadong is just going to crush him here, honestly. Now that we're to the Mutalisk phase. Yeah, he targets down those immediately. And it's just... Jadong's up like three Mutas right now. So that's going to be it. GG is called. And of course, Jadong defeats Flash in a Zerg vs Zerg.